So many of our parties and celebrations at this time of year seem to surround the grill. But let's face it, not all of us are great grillers. So we're taking you back to basics today. It's Grilling 101 with Tammy Allgood. You're going to help us make a better burger. That's right. This is going to be a great burger. And we're starting with ground chuck okay. instead of hamburger because it has, has a higher fat content. So that makes a better burger right off the bat. Okay. That's a good okay. tip. Okay. So we've got our hamburger meat here. And then, Meryl, since I've touched this, if you you will add just a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Um, always salt and pepper. And and you know what? You can't get really too much in there. Okay. And then we're going to add um, a <laughs> well, few. Well, maybe you well, can. Maybe just a little <laughs> bit. Okay. Then you can add some other things. Okay. So you can add some garlic powder to it. You can add some herbs to it if you want to. But the main thing is that you want to add some wet ingredients. Okay. So when I say wet ingredients, we're talking chopped onions and we are talking some kind of sauce. Some people put ketchup. I like bar just a little bit of barbecue oh, yeah. sauce in there and that keeps it nice and wet. Now the main thing you want to do Can I is do that? yes, okay. go ahead. Is not massage it too much. It's it's Don't better. overwork it. That's right because then you've got a compact burger so you want it to be nice and and full and to see that's perfect what you're doing okay. right there. Is there anything you shouldn't add? You should not add Worcestershire sauce. Why? And because that, that colors the meat. Ah. So if you're going by the color, if it's done or not, that colors the meat. So, okay. so if so you, you do really add it, you're going to have to use a meat thermometer versus going by what it looks like. Okay. okay? All right. So Meryl, you're doing exactly right. Now what I like to do is pretty much make them about this size. You don't want to, again, don't want to play with them too much. Okay. So I just kind of turn them like this and pat at the same time. And then they're they're ready, okay? All right. So we're just going to put them on a foil-lined pan, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make an indention in the center of them. And the reason we do that is because if you left it like this, it would tend to buckle mm -hmm. as it as it cooks. So then the edges get too done, and and it's hard to dress it. Okay. So if you'll just either take your thumb or about a half teaspoon and make an indention in the middle, then it will not do that and we are ready to roll. Okay, Meryl, the main thing to remember on the grill is to never press the burgers down as they're cooking with the spatula okay. or this is what happened, they'll start to fall apart. Okay, So good. leave them alone, let them do their thing. They won't stick after a few minutes and then we're just gonna pull them up on a clean platter. Okay? How do you know when they're done? Okay, you can go by time or you can also go by a meat thermometer, okay? okay. So we're gonna use both. These have been on there about five minutes on each side, okay. which is about perfect for this. But you can also use a meat thermometer. But see what happens when you start pressing? It starts falling apart. Okay. The main thing is only turn them one time. You don't wanna turn them more than once because then they're gonna start sticking. Okay. All right, I'm ready to put these in the buns. These look terrific. Yes, so what we've done here, again, we've got a clean, platter that we put them on. You've got all your accompaniments here and we're ready to go. We're going to just check these really quick with the meat thermometer and when you check them don't go down like this. Go to the side like this and what temperature are we going They're for? They're perfect. We're going for 160. There you go. So we're perfect. We're ready to eat a better burger. I think we are. Tammy, thank you so much. Some great tips.